Welcome back to another episode of Adoptions from the Heart TV. I'm your host, Amanda Alberti. Today we're gonna to be sitting down with two social workers from our Allentown office, Katie and Kristen. They're gonna talk a little bit about what to expect when you're in the adoption process. Alright, today we're going to be talking about what to expect as an adoptive parent just starting out in our program. So one of the biggest things you can remember and that we talk about a lot um, is flexibility. Um, flexibility is going to be your biggest savior throughout this program. Uh, you need to be able to adjust and flow with what's going on um, wh wherever you are in the process, but especially when you're beginning out, um, I think that's probably the biggest thing to kind of keep in mind as you start off. Definitely. I feel like um, your life is going to change throughout the process. It's a really long process. So to remain flexible because your life circumstances are going to change, um, what you experience in the adoption process is going to open up your mind a little bit. Right. Um, so to go in and know that being flexible is to your advantage. Yeah, and um, like you said, being open, um, there's a lot to learn in the adoption process. So you're gonna start off, you're, we're gonna give you some information to begin with, we're gonna grow off of that and keep evolving. So being open, um, open to learning new things, open to trying new things, and open to also being honest with your caseworkers and each other and yourself. Yeah, definitely, openness will be an advantage as well. Yes, um, and openness in terms of what you are open to in the adoption process for your child. Um, and I think that also brings up the area of control, uh, which is a huge thing for adoptive parents. Do you want to speak a little bit on that? Yeah, control is a big piece because it's always moving um, with both parties. Um, you can have, you can feel like you don't have a lot of control in the beginning mm -hmm. of the process um, because the birth parents are the ones that choose you, um, and you are ask, you're being asked a lot to look at yep. different situations and and open up and be flexible, um, but. But once you're placed, the control kind of shifts, and right. you're not um, you're not always asking for that control from the birth parents. It's the birth parents asking for for control from you. Yeah. So you know it goes full circle in all all parties and that are involved definitely. Um, and even though that can sound a little overwhelming, or it's like you know a lot to do, a lot to see, process everything like that, uh, you still have to keep living your life as right. a, a prospective adoptive parent. Right. Yeah. You always can go on hold we understand that your life keeps on going um, and to put your life on pause during the adoption process would cause a lot of extra stress um, and make the adoption process a lot more difficult I think so go on vacations yeah. spend time with your loved ones um, and just keep living your life like you normally do, um, but still make adoption a big priority in that process. Yeah, it's a huge priority, but we don't want to see you get overwhelmed by it in a negative way. It's such a positive thing to be involved with. And that we're always here for you. Um, you know, as a prospective adoptive parent, you should know that we're advocating for you. Um, it might not seem like we're communicating every single day, every single minute of the day, but that's part of it, is that you also need to be willing to communicate with us because we won't know what's going on otherwise. Yeah, there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes that you don't see, so you might feel like we're not speaking to you enough or um, you f are feeling like you're being left behind, but we're actually advocating for you every single day at meetings. Um, we go through profile books to see yeah. what we can improve um, and we're always communicating with other offices and your social workers to make sure that both parties are being represented. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks so much to Katie and Kristen for talking about what to expect in the adoption process. Please feel free to tune in next week.